Okay. He's like a little crocodile, isn't he? So he's leave one on yeah. and yeah. just slip on. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Well, that's just some some clips of what's to come in this video. Now, this is a little warning to people. I must do this. I don't want, you know, there's a lot of videos that I put out that people really benefit from and they can you know practice the things i do and and they work my methods work with most horses now this one uh there is some some learning to do for the for the average horse person but i don't you know i must stress what i have to, the lengths i have to go to here what i have the methods that that i've learned over years and years and years of, of working a lot of horses to keep myself safe the horse safe uh, owners safe um, so this is not for you to practice a lot of what I'm doing here because you could get seriously hurt. This particular video is of a young stallion, very frustrated, um, has got completely the wrong idea of how it should be living its life around, around humans. It's not, it's doing exactly what it thinks it should be doing. This was a cry for help message. We pretty much dropped everything. I had been to another horse on the morning but we just dropped everything and went and, and went round to try and help, and it was it was quite quite a job in hand to try and keep everything in the right direction. So yeah, like I say, this is a warning. Don't emulate what I'm doing a lot a lot of this video because working with the young stallion that as you know um, as dangerous potentially dangerous as this one was. Uh, so yeah. I'll start the video now, but that's, I just needed to say that. And I must first of all say that the owner has tried very, very hard this, this little, it's a, it's a little stallion. Uh, they've tried so hard because it's the last, the last stallion of that lineage. So this is his dam, I think. Um, and the name is Lan Morales. That I, I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. This, I'm pretty sure, it is the sire. And he is Pervadian Rooney. Uh, again, I don't know if I've done that right, but apparently that they're, 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 they're champions and, and they really tried to keep this horse intact. And he's been really, really difficult. And the owner breaks horses for people. She's doing great with horses. She's looks after virtually a barn full and this little little fella he's been a, an absolute handful uh, in the uk you've got horse shows for cubs stallions and i've often thought you know the most wild looking ones tend tend to to win and then they breed to them and sometimes it's not the best it's a bit controversial but i go to a lot of very well bred cobs that are bred from a lineage of winners from the show ring that were wide eyed. Most elevated, and I'm sure some of it throws down. So, this particular little fella, the decision's been made that he will be gelded, which I think is a great decision. He will be gelded, he's still entire at the moment, and basically I've got to try and help and now. look at this, this is Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem, look. This is like, yeah. yeah. It's a little, a little tiny hamlet, really. But Bethlehem, it's a bit uh, strange, it really. Not the same one as Jesus. Uh, no, no, no. So this little fella now, I've got to try and help, somehow, to the stage where oh. they can get it, get him gelded, and it's going to take months for the testosterone to reduce. It's so it's just a case of trying to help her move forward without her getting hurt, or one of the other horses oh, getting covered by it. Because 
he's trying to escape, he's he's an absolute handful, getting worse, and I've got to try and figure out how this can go forward. Um, because I know they well, can't they can't lead it down trying to keep a down the barn. Like... If you try to go down the barn with it, it tries to get over the each gate into the whichever stable. You know, and he's out, he's outstrengthed everybody now. I've got to have a little think now how to go about this. So we're nearly here now. Um, oh, here we go. In we go. In we go. Oh, they've had some new sand by the looks of it down there. Ooh. So yeah, that's good. We've got a bit of a school. If we can get him in there, that might help. He's in the corner. No, looking no, at geography. No. Looking at geography. What you've got in there? Yeah. Right. Here are Sam. What's that? I'm oh. a little cult and oh. can be a little naughty. <laughs> Please take care of your fingers. When I come to say hello, as I may nibble or bite, please do not feed me treats as my mom is trying to teach me to be good. Thank you. Look oh. at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. He's been the most difficult you've had, hasn't he? No. Are you? What line? Tiger. Yeah. Kicked me. Oh, the line on the back. He to kick you, really. That line, that long line. There. Um... This? Why has it gone out of now you've decided you have tried your best because it's the last of a lineage. Yeah. I think that's what yeah. I was told. Uh, He's just getting too much. And do you think was his dad a little bit wild? Or? I don't know. Personally, I yeah. don't know any of the parents' yeah. behaviours. Oh, he's looking. Ch look at his neck. You're well, you've been a naughty boy, and you're gonna have your nuts off now. <laughs> So, have you got in touch with the vets? And, and yes, they're going to give me a ring back and when they can do it. Yeah. Mm. Trying to get it done as urgently as possible. Because of the flies mm. and the mm. Mm. Yeah, so that, that, that's in process. So, it's a matter of you not getting hurt and easy when to kick you. Okay. Right, geography, what I was talking about. What's your reasoning for him being up here? So, he's out the way and nobody's passing him. Ah. Mm. Nobody's passing him, yeah, okay. What, what horse is passing him? Okay. Now, the biggest problem you, well, one of the biggest problems, obviously there's more problems here. This is quite serious, what's mm. going on. You have trouble getting him down and back yeah. up. Because he go, tries to get to each. Getting him back up here, that's the bigger problem. And then he goes to each, yeah. drags you to each, yeah. um, each horse. Okay. Obviously, when he's gelded, you're gonna have a few months, yeah. and then hopefully things will settle down. So if you go in with him now, what kind of thing? He'll grab my coat, he'll drag me in there, he'll bite my legs, he bites boots, he'll, he'll, if I'm in there, I've got to go in his mouth. Really? He's got to that stage? Look at him looking at me. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh dear. So, you know, if you go in and you, you ask him to move away from you, you're not having that now. It's gone past oh. that. Whoa. Now, I noticed a clip that you were having trouble putting the, the halter on. Have you got a halter you can leave on? Yes. A, no a normal clip on, on. 
Yes. Oh, you've got to be careful putting those on mm -hmm. and leaving them on because these won't they break. Mm -hmm. They won't break. And if no. you got caught up on something, then you're going to lose your horse. That's what we've got to be careful of. I've so, got one somewhere. Uh, do you want it now? Well, no, we won't have it now. I've got to try and get a hold on him without him hurting me now. Or, or, or can we watch you do it? Do you think you're going to get hurt? You do it every night, don't you? Poor Liv. Uh, uh, yeah, afterwards, I would say leave a hold on because then. it seems to me a lot of the trouble is you getting that on. Yes. Okay, are you okay? You, 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 we can watch. You do it. <laughs> Oh, look, he's already biting the Oh, bars. he's already saying, oh, I'll have you. You don't hand feed him, you don't do any of the no. things that, yeah. Oh, look, straight away. Oh. Straight away. He might not be too bad now, we... Oh, dear me. Uh, you won't uh, even do it. It's that side, that might, be, that might be too big. Do you want to put this one? It is more his size. Look, so give me that back. Tan. Yep. I'm here. He's not going to try and come out, is he? Is he watching door? Oh, I won't let. Him yeah, because that's why. Oof. Yeah. Well done, Liv. And breathe. Once that's on. Yeah. Once it's on, well, I've got a little bit that, more there. That tells you that's what you're going to have to do is leave one on yeah. and yeah. just clip on. Ooh. Okay. Right, where's my flag? The first thing we've got to do, can you wrap that round his neck a few times? The rope. Yeah. He's like a little crocodile, isn't he? Little jaws, mm, jaws. <laughs> Now there's some trainers who would say, allow that and let him play, you know, play with you and give him lots of hand treats. Well, what do you think that would do? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and he will come out. Uh, he will come out. Okay. Right, I need to jump out. What do you need? I need my did flag. You, did you bring your flag? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. <sighs> I think that look and that blowout kind of tells you what I'm thinking there. I don't think, this is really weird. I'm looking, because it's now in a different scope. So people can put these videos on their TVs. I'm looking directly and it's sort of over here. So I don't know if I look at the camera there, maybe that looks a little bit better like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I don't think anyone realizes in the barn um, and his, his lovely uh, gentle owner, what, 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 could, what could materialize here? I mean, you've got a two year old uh, stallion. Okay, he's not huge. Uh, but he's 10 times the strength of anyone else in there. And he's on the borderline. He's frustrated. He's um, playing with everyone, really. I mean, there's these bites on, on, on the back and on the legs. And um, I mean, he threatened to kick her that morning. And there was a big mark where he'd... I mean, he's just playing about. I mean, if I've seen it where it can be in, in a flash, in an instant, that an attack can happen. And if, he, he doesn't know where he is on the totem pole at the moment. In fact, he's pretty close to, 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 to considering himself, you know, at the top of the chain there. And then when he does that, it, like I say, I, I have witnessed uh, attacks on people the aftermath of a, of, a, of a proper horse bite. Proper horse bite. So I've got to establish uh, uh, the ownership of my space and that he has to yield to me. And he's convinced at the moment that he shouldn't be yielding. And that's the way they, 
they get a, um, a one-upmanship. That's what they, they do. It's all about yielding and space. And the fact that he's allowed, been allowed to bite, allowed to come in to space, allowed to rear, and all of that stuff. He, he is convinced now that's what he should be doing. And he'll, he, he, he'll, he'll fight for that, you know? So I've got to be careful. When working with hormones, you've got to be careful. You can't, you can't inflict any pain uh, on a horse uh, like that because in, in the, done in the wrong way, it, it can escalate and really get, get someone hurt. So here we go. The, the, I'm about to have my first interaction with him. So let's see how we get on. Because the first thing I'd say is whenever you've got to catch him, he's got, he's got to know that he's got to mm. retreat away yeah. from, from us, right? Um, so I may need this, I don't know. First thing I do, if I go in here, I need him to retreat away from me. So I'll, I'm going to try not to make first knot. So I just backed him off there. now. If I did need to get out of here, I'll just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, literally, I mean, he's at a stage where he could consider attacking me. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and just move him around a little bit, okay? So I want to influence him forward. So I want to just influence him forward there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to influence him forward here. Okay. Well, he knows I'm, I'm quite serious now, isn't it? It's not come, you know. Don't do that with that equipment. Um, so I'm trying not to look at, hit, hit, challenge him in his eyes or anything like that. Just being quiet and then asking him to move his feet. So I decide. Now he's shaking his head there. So. Seem to move over there. No, don't challenge, please. Thank you. Right. Now the worst thing I could do now is is yield to him. If I yield to him, if he moves me, then he, that will build yeah. him. And do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you're dealing with him, it's hard for you, but you are moving all the time away. He's, he's, yeah. he's, he's making you yield. So I know, first of all try and establish that I move him, he doesn't move me, okay? Now that's quite a, I'd say that's a good look. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at him in the provisional vision. So I want him to move, move again. Okay, that's good, that's good. So I took his bit of space. There you go. He's kind of thinking, can we be friends a little bit here? You're worth, you know, he's, he's trying to, no, that was a foot. I'm going to just tell him here. There. Now, what I'm going to slowly do is get him to face me. Okay? Now, does he ever turn his bum on you in here? Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a little challenge from him, right? A little stallion challenge, that was. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, I'll try and soften a little bit here. Now, do you see him drop his head there? Yeah. A little bit submissive. Yeah. Don't chew that, don't chew that equipment. And the reason I'm getting him to stop chewing that, mm -hmm. because that is no different to chewing on me. So I'm trying to say, you don't, no. I want that, that position there. So I've moved into his yeah. space now, haven't I? Yeah. Just kind of his yeah. own. It's about geography in this stable. Yeah. He's got to know he's not, the alpha and the one that's running the show because it's going to end up with someone getting very badly bit like you don't want him to no. bite you do you no. uh, don't want him to bite you don't want him to kick you said he needs to kick you this morning yeah so it's getting to a stage where someone's got to be done yeah. enough you can see why some people chain their stallions up in yes. in in uh, stables and you i've seen it a lot um, 
So I'm going to move him again. I want that space again, all right? So, so I took that space. Now we're getting a bit of, don't do that. Go quiet in your mind. So I took his space again. This is going to have a big effect between me and him. Yeah. The fact that I can take his space. So, so I took his space again. And his space again. Now, he's really thinking that he should move forward into me. Mm. And he thought twice about it there, which was quite good. See his head drop? Yeah. Okay, now I want that space. Now, what I'm trying to build in is that when I, re when I move, move my flag, he stops chewing. Yeah. And that's going to be the same with us. If he starts chewing yeah. on me, he's going to be flagged. Okay. So I'm trying to build that in yeah. as well. This is not easy, and this no. is not what anyone should, should try themselves really because if the challenge if he sees it as a challenge if I'm not effective enough mm. and kind enough at the same time he could attack me in here and have me in that corner yeah. before you know uh, so I want that I want that space here now and I've got it and this is starting to hit home to him mm. that I own I own the space so we're gonna let him chill out for two minutes now and then I'll cut get hold of him and then work him in here then. You've got the tire there because he knocks his water over, is it? Yeah. That figures. <laughs> yeah, I can see now in the end of the summer, we are riding him in a totally different horse. Hopefully. <laughs> it will happen. Now, I'm gonna see. No chewing. Wow. What's his name, Lynn? Bryn. Bryn. Good boy, Bryn. Right, now I'll have this ready. Because when he chews on me, this is going to be flapped in a way yeah. that tells him you do not. Yeah, that know. this is what is going to work. Rather than hitting him with anything. Yeah. Um, come to me in a second now, but without a challenge to it. That shoulder came then. So I took my time with that. I don't want any challenge from him, because a challenge means he's going to know. Things looking any better? Yeah. Now he's asking there. No, he's only licking. Yeah, yeah, but I know. that. I know, I know. I don't want him mad at me. Again, I don't. No. That has got to all stop. So, that's right. First thing I've got to get rid of is that because that is going to turn into yeah. something nasty. Has you got any marks on you from it or not? Yeah. I've got, I've got some photos that I'll show you. He's been really biting you. <gasps> Right, as an acceptance. Okay, you see how this is building? Yeah. There's a consequence to him thinking that he can bite me. Yeah. Now, when, when a subservient horse goes to another horse, mm -hmm. have you seen what they do? They chop their lips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how did yeah. it go? <laughs> That's what you're looking for, really, in a way. Yeah. Right. When they're this... He's knowing his strength of you, that's, that's, you know. And he's convinced he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, so, I'm quite happy with, where the, you see how this building? Yeah. But it could be very dangerous at the same time. So we, we're getting an understanding now where he's not challenging so much. No, okay, so that's, he's thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, right, so, that will make sense. Yes. Now, I don't know if you're going to get that done. We'll carry on, but there's got to be a consequence yeah. to when he's doing all of this. You've got to get him off you. Okay. okay? So we'll, we'll get his, uh, we'll get this now.
So, the fact that he tried so hard then not to do all of this, it meant he didn't have to move, he had no problems with me, did he? Yeah. So I'm gonna be as gentle as I can be, but I will let him know if he picks the equipment up, which transfers to us, yeah. he can do what he wants when he's not with us. Yeah. Then I'm gonna make sure he knows it's not okay. the best thing, okay? So now I'm gonna see whether I can move him around in here a little bit. So all I want is a forward step. If he comes in here, then I will, he'll okay. feel my rope chewing on stuff. Okay. Okay, so I need a foot forward. There, I had my foot forward. That's all I wanted. I just want to be able to uh, influence him a little bit. There, foot forward. That. Right. Now, what I'm noticing, pressure on his head, he goes against the pressure just mm. now. He's learned his strength mm. to pull against yeah. you. Um, now, foot forward. Mm. That's it. So I'm going to build this up now, where I can influence a foot forward. Yeah. And don't pull against me. And if he picks up the equipment, I'm going to bump him. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want... Once he starts doing that and he's mind with stuff, it yeah. transfers when you've got him to you. Yeah. So, um, so I'm gonna ask him foot forward. There. I'm gonna work on this for a bit, this side, because I'm this side. I'm just going to say something here. What? It is not me crunching carrots. <laughs> it's it's Glenny, isn't it? Behind. And people say, I wish the photographer would stop chewing. It's not me. It's the uh, behind. There just, he is. I'm just going to fuss on him here a little bit now. Tell him he's a good guy. Um, he's always so wants to chew my hands off here. <laughs> but he's... I've been effective enough to, yeah. to not completely change his mind, but... Um, now I'm going to ask him to go forward on the other. Now the other side, he's going to be more dominant with me because that's the side he, we lead them on and he's used to moving yeah. a person, isn't he? On that side. Um, so, okay. Right, so I've got my step. I've got to be careful here because he's used to pulling. Yeah. He straightened his body up there. So there's a possible possibility he could yes this side he's more pulley on this road. He normally lock his head in. He's locking it, I can head. feel he's locking it. Yeah. But the problem is when he locks it he can go straight and double yeah. barrel me. So I've got to work on uh, getting him to right. he's got to know not to do that. That's how he got out of trouble mm. going forward for me. Yeah, he's locking his head, so he's learned that. That's probably coming up in and out the barn when he yeah. pulls on you. Yeah, locking his head. So we're going to address that in a minute. Yeah, he's locking his head. He's locking his head. Let's put this on a bit better. Yeah, he, he's trying, because I'm doing that, he's used to doing yeah, this, yeah. isn't he? So, it's all delicate stuff to try and, uh, right. Now, a little bit better, still locking his jaw. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I was at a clinic many, many years ago. 
many years ago, probably 25 years ago, when Buck Runner just started, and they had a horse that would lock. It was a starting clinic, and to some people there, the money for the starting clinic was nothing, but this particular guy was everything to him. He'd saved up for a long time. And his horse was pulling like this. They couldn't get a saddle on him, they couldn't do the groundwork properly. And basically the horse, he, he said, you know, if you can't do anything with him, he's gonna have to be destroyed. So it was life or death for the horse, really. So Buck um, tied him high with a long rope, solid, and I never, you know, it's not the sort of thing we do, but he tied him high and he flagged him and he ran full gallop, with 12 foot, poof, gone, smacked. He come up to the end of the rope, didn't he? So he went down. Yeah. Then he flagged him again, and then he went 24 foot because he had the 12 foot, the 12 foot, yeah. boom. And he did that for about 20 times, something like that. Mm. And that float at the end would never come out. He'd, yeah. he'd run, the float would get to there, and then he'd turn. Yeah. He'd change, change the horse. So we respected this. Mm. That, that's how, it's at that stage where it's going to be difficult yeah. to get him, be, when he's gelded, he'll listen more because he's that convinced he should be riding everything at the moment and challenging everything, isn't he? Look at the look on him. Yeah. You see a difference now? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to ask him forward again. There, forward. Now I'm going to see if I can get his hind quarters away from me. Yes. That's good. I'll get these hind quarters this side. Yes, good. Good. See if I can get his. Can you see his uh, shoulders here, Tanya? I'm going to try and get these, him to move his shoulder. There. Forward. There. He's locking jaw again. I'm it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right. So I think what I'm going to do is work on hind quarters more and getting him to bend here. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Right. Okay. Well, let him chill out for a minute. Then I think I've got enough now to get him to the school. Yeah. With a bit of luck and do some groundwork in the school, because, now, uh, I'll this with me, but this is a very dangerous thing that, I, I, how you've survived it with just a few bites, I don't know. You've worked so hard, haven't you? You've tried your best. Licked and chewed. He's not coming into my space at the moment, is he? No. But you can't, you know, when we eventually get back up here, mm -hmm. I'm going to get you to do a little bit of this. Okay. Um, any questions on what I've just done? Can you think of any? Um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's getting better, isn't it? He's not? Yeah. Okay, so we'll try and get him to the school now. What are you expecting? What am I going to have? Him locking his head and go He lock his head. Steve, go and grasp him. Yeah. Right. Okay. I won't turn this off then. Well, he's very. I'm leaving it, bringing him out the stables at a good time because look, he's he's quite contented. Yeah. He's looking at me. He's not biting me. I'm be able to move him of sorts. Yeah. So we'll see what we got. Okay. We'll try and get him to the school. That's the first thing. Okay. So I'm gonna bring him so far. And I'm going to see if I can back him up here. Okay? I'll oh, just see whether. I... Yes. Good boy. Good. And then I'm going to get him halfway out. Stop him. Because if I just come straight out here, then it will all help with that way. So I'm yeah. trying to get a little bit of. Yes. Backing off nicely. Okay. Well, we'll see what we've got then. See if we can get past it. I'm going to see if I can stop him. 
Come on, back in towards me. Bab. Well, you know. Christ. Right, Bab. Come on, Bab. Come on, Now what is going to help this little fella more than anything is backing, backing away from us because he's so into your, to your space, right? Backing away, and I'll eventually going to back him all the way around here. But I'm going to let him have a little, a little yeah. expend of his energy. And for that, we should got a clip on one. Very rarely do I like the clip on one. See, he's locking his jaw there. He's locking his jaw. So I'm going to try and put this round his So I've managed to get him to the school. That was a feat in itself, but I gained a little bit of respect. Got him to the school, managed to get him loose safely. That was, that was a job. Now he's had his run round, and what I'm doing to the people who don't understand, most people will, I think, is I'm moving him. I'm gonna move him until he's expended all his energy and just keep pushing him, pushing him, with my flag, my suggestion, just showing him that I'm moving him around. And then I'll go from there and you'll see it, see it progress. He's like one of those bucking horses in the rodeo, isn't he?
Hey Jane. I'm filming. Right, we need the clip. We need one of our clips now. Because you're gonna get nowhere unless we're gonna have to do it, not solid, but I've gotta get him to, to accept this. Yep. Else he'll just get away from you every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, slightly better. He mustn't take his hind quarters. Now he was up to rear more before. He's got getting a good back yeah. up now. Stop. Back those feet up. Back those feet up. Thank you. Forward with the feet. Forward with those feet. Disengage. Back up. Yes. Do you feel like we're getting somewhere, Adley? Yeah, definitely. Forward with the feet. Like a disgruntled child, isn't it? Look at him. Back up. Back up. Forward. Disengage. Is he going to go the other way? See the difference? Yes. Stop. Back up. Go forward. Disengage. Back, Back up. up. Whoa. Good boy. You see the resistance not there as it was? No. Would that work? Yeah. Go forward. Disengage. Back up. Whoa. Give him a break now for a second. I'll lead him around now. See if we'll get his hind quarters. How soft that is now. Yes. Now, this will wear off a little bit. Lovely. Now I'll lead to driving now. Yep. You know, like in in the wild. Yep. They'll follow. And they'll lead. I don't want to get so close to me there. So that's them following. And that's them driving. See him lowering his head? Mm -hmm. And that's the leading. That's the driving.
it's about leading through a gap now without him pushing me over. Disengage him. Disengage him. Lovely. Disengage him. I'm gonna soften now. Stop. I'm gonna check him out now. I'm gonna soften. See how much of that yeah. I've got now when I rub him. Okay. Now if he does, I've got the tools now. I've got the tools to back him up 20 foot when he does it. So I'm gonna look at his feet. Yep. Um, I'm just waiting for him, inviting him really, mm -hmm. to to do that mouthing stuff on me and biting, and I'll back him up double. Mm -hmm. But and I'm on the side that he's more apt to do it. Yeah. All right. He was thinking about it then, so I'm going to just bump him here till he frees his feet up there. There. Okay. Stroking in there, that's a nice. So this this isn't one session really. No. This is a few sessions to try and get him just a bit more manageable. Yeah. Now he's on top of me there. I, you know, so he's so used to being on top of you, yeah. isn't he? And rearing on you and all that. Um so I want to get, get you, so I'm gonna back up here. I'm gonna back him away from me without looking at him. Yeah. So that when he gets too close, this is my tail. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. When you lead him to the field, don't lead him next to him because no. he's got you. Yeah. You know, stop. Back up. That's my tail. I'd do an hour with him every morning at this if it was mine. Yeah. Forward. Follow me. Not too close. He knows I had my uh, tail then, didn't he? Yeah. You can't lead him. You can't lead him next to you. No. Do you? Stop. Right. That's more respectful. Hopefully he won't. And invite him again. If he does, I'm backing him right over there. Good boy. Tan? Good boy. Any better, do you think? Yes. <coughs> you think? Much better. I'm so much in the moment with this. Um, he's leaning forward on me there. His weight came forward on me like that. So I just back him off me a little bit. What I was saying about the clips, if it gets to a stage where you cannot, yeah. if it doesn't get any better than this, you cannot no. lead him and he's straightening up. Yeah. We need to set that high, okay. um, drilled in somewhere a little ring, better off high yeah. and okay. against a wall. Okay. So he didn't try to get over the fence. Yeah. And then wor working for age is one way, then the other. Yeah. Um, so this suddenly has a meaning again. Yeah for safety. What do you think? Not Any better, better than... Not better. Do you think so? <laughs> I knew that I was going to have to... Um, no. Now they're into my face. I didn't miss it. No. We're kind of getting something going between us now that is realising I'm Ed Concho. It's a partnership between yeah. us, but I'm Ed Concho. Yeah. We're going to have to see if we can get him up the barn.
Yeah. Is that your tie, Liv? No, that's yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's ours. Hey, Ancho. <clears throat> so, again, I'd play with that. I, I'd stand here, and every time you put one towards me, on request for move it back. Mm. Just bump him towards there. Move back three paces. One, two, three. Right. Just letting him chill out a bit here now. Where's the mountain block? You've got a big mountain block. Over there. Ah, right. You could do with grabbing that, putting it up against the wall for me there. Okay. with this now so he sees me above him oh there's some poo there tell you what So, okay, that's the ground working session, the main one completed pretty much there. I noticed a big change in the horse. It would have, I think it went on for a couple of hours out there. There's no way you could include everything in a video. It would just be too long. So I made sure for the honesty of the video that you saw everything that I had to, um, you know, maybe firm up a little bit or, or, you know, change the way I was doing things. Everything is there that you needed to see. Now... I'm just about to take the horse into the barn, but I just got to talking to, to the owner and it was revealed that you couldn't pick the feet up without really bad biting of, of whoever's picking it up's back. Um, when the farrier comes, as long as someone's holding his head tight, then you kind of get away with it. But if the owner tries to pick up the feet on her own, she gets, she gets, she's got huge, huge bruises all down her back. Um, too bad for me to show. And all the, the bruises and bites on her legs, I'm not going to show them. It's too distressing. So I thought, oh, I've got to just do something. Now, I'm about to do something now that no one should try unless you've got years of experience. So I'm going to use a strap. It's, it's not in, inhumane if it's used properly and it shows the horse that it can survive with its three legs up it kind of loses its power of flight you have to know what you're doing it is a quick release one i've done it hundreds of times so all i'm saying is i'm willing to show these things but you do not do them yourself unless you know what you're doing okay so you'll see the process now i won't hide anything you'll see it all
Uh, right, where's my, where's my thing now? Oh, you want the... I bloody do. Oh. Could you grab it, please? Leave it in the back of the car. Down. <laughs> Get off my foot! Get off! I've got tickly feet! It's always busy looking around and see yeah. what's going on, isn't it? Right, that's a quick release. I've just knocked it off. I can knock that off now if I need. I'm showing him I can disable him. Yeah. All right. have a ma massive effect on you. if you do it right yeah you're again i don't want anyone doing this um, i'm showing i could disable him and i could lie him down now it could help a lot of dangerous little little horses i've done it a lot <sighs> i'm going to make it come one step towards me now, it's going to make him better about his feet. I'd do this with both front feet. Okay. Yeah. You know, you might find there's a pronoun change in this, this little horse. That's what you need. No bite, back biting? No. Good. Do you see how those straps? Yeah really help but you gotta do it you gotta know what you're doing mm. to do it mm. do you wanna come in here now all right you've never picked the front foot up okay oh i have when he's gone bite you right in the rub straight down like you know it's gonna happen okay let it go when it's good okay no back biting yeah. Same thing again. Okay, give him a rub. Straight down. Go on, pick it up. Pick it up. Get it good. Okay. Now, I want you to see where you can back him up a few paces away. Look at his feet. Stay where you are and tut. One, two. That's enough. If he puts on his mouth, just yeah. jolt it out. Right, see if you can rub on him a little bit. If he does go to get you, do you think he will? Yeah. <laughs> you see how he's, the yeah. history? Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, see whether you can rub on him a little bit. Bump him back if he goes to bite you. Was that any result? Yeah. Okay, when he stops you, when you stop, he stops. He's annoyed at himself because he knows you're different. Yeah. He knows your smell. Oh, I think that you can tell because I have handled them. See if you can lead him around in a little bit and just, just like you were leading him normally, but don't lead him from the side of him. 
Okay, let's start. Back him up. Yeah, okay. He's almost wanted to mount you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that. What, you don't mount you? <laughs> now, stop. Now, that's okay. See, I would... You felt that. Yeah. You felt that maybe you shouldn't do yeah. anything there because you'd been effective. Yeah. Hadn't you? And you thought, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Now he's... He may be just starting to think you ain't the li little soft touch you were. Remember to look at his feet, not at him. Don't make it personal with him. Yes. How's that feel? <laughs> that looked great to me. He's not here. Yes. Well, he was about to jump on you. Yeah. Earlier on, he was, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. He was considering it. That looks nice. Yes, yes. <gasps> Send one foot back. Do as little as you can, but as much as necessary. Yes. Now, see whether you can just touch his forehead without him biting your arm off. Okay, oh, don't lovely. overdo it. Now he's sniffing you there. Uh, a sniff will turn to a little bite. Be this, is, this is a lot for him. Oh, but, be you, know, you can imagine, I, haven't, I can't do this every day, no. Bjorn, but you can see where this could head if I did this. Uh, um, Okay. Are we going to go in the barn? Yeah, so we're going to... Now, <laughs> do you want me to take him in the barn or you? Do you want me to? to back him up there, because what he's doing is creeping on you, isn't he? There. You've got to watch that creeping before you know it. He's yeah. going to start that, he'll rear on you, yeah. and then... So you've got to try and keep up on, on, on top of it. Okay. okay, so we'll see. Now, if, if we go into the barn, and he's... I can't get him away from the horses. Yeah. I'm going to try and back him up there. Okay. Because I've got more... I'll have more doing that. Um, right then. Sit. God, have a nibble. Here we are we're just about to go into the barn now with all the other horses in there and to get him up through the barn is one of the biggest nightmares uh, he'll just go uh, just just pull the lead rope lock his jaw and try and get over the stable doors and it's just just an absolute nightmare so you're just about to see now i'm going to take him in there uh, you know at this point i i thought he would he would um follow me a lot better than than he ever has done with other people uh, but you're just about to see what what takes place now now i would say i was so pleased that the owner managed to get a little bit of groundwork done and i noticed a big improvement after about 10 minutes you know that's the biggest worry really because there's so much history there and at first when she took hold of him you could see that he thought oh no this is different you know, and, and it, it almost escalated into some some of the old behaviour. So, you know, at this point, feeling quite positive, just about to go into the barn now, and you'll see exactly what takes place. Close to it. Yeah. Normally he'd be dragging me backwards by now. You're lying to us now. I know. <laughs> uh, 
A different look? Yes. Good boy. Good There's a lot boy. for him to go through, but yeah. to, to get even the slightest dent, yeah. I had to do some of yeah. those things. Do you think... Right. Now, I might have to start over again a little bit. Yeah. If he decides to chew me apart here. Uh, that's... Come to that. Oh well, I think we should leave it at that, yeah. Yeah. this session. Yeah. He didn't. No. No. Um, we're going to have to have a good chat. Yeah. Maybe if I can get back here for another little session in a couple of days, maybe. Um, you can't put him down the bottom. No. That's out of the question. Okay. Uh, right. Now, you know when you went in before? Mm -hmm. As soon as you went in, he was here. Yeah. And before you did anything, he was all over you. Before I go, I just want to check. Yeah. You're going to take your flag in there. Have you got a flag? Yeah. Just take this in. And I want you to just, all you got to do, yeah. make sure he's not on you. You're not going in there to yeah. him. You're going to go over there. Okay. If he comes towards you, you're going to do something with a big smile on your face. Just to know that he's got to not yeah. come after yeah. you. That's all I want, okay? Go on, pick your spot where you're going to go over there, maybe by the hay net, and just send him back away from you. Alright, get him out of your space. There you go. Keep him off you. If he comes towards you, you do something about it. Look at his feet, not him. Okay, go over there, Jeff. Well, is that an improvement? He's normally pinned me in a corner by now. He's what? Pinned you in a the corner. There's nothing wrong with you just cut. Yeah, look, he wants to. Yeah. Okay, come into this corner. Now, I would no way have allowed you to do that, safety wise, unless I thought we'd got far enough. Yeah. Now, he's, suddenly his attention's not on you, is it? Yeah. Which that's a good place to end with. What will you do with him later now? Just leave him now. Oh, well, yeah. he'd be much out. Yeah. Tired. What happens when you, how do you mock him out? Do you bring him out to tie him? No, I tie him there. You tie him in the corner. Uh, ha, ha, you'd have to put your his head collar on for that. Have you got a little head collar? You, you need a little head collar. Yeah. It fits nice, yeah. but you're going to clip, clip a rope to. So, I think for now, yeah. just let, let him, let him yeah. think about what's happened for a few hours, a couple of hours, I would, to be yeah. honest. Um, he can live with that bit of poo in there. Yeah. And then, when you come in tomorrow, do that. Get him off you. Make sure he's off you. Stay in that corner, stay in that yeah. corner. And then maybe move him a little bit with your flag. Okay. I mean, look at the look. Would you say that's a difference? Yeah. You know, he looks a little bit more settled in where he lies. I've never seen him eat his food in here while I'm in here, because he's always on me. Wow. It just shows, doesn't it? But, you, you know, those methods that I've used, yeah. ha they're not for everyone to yeah. use those methods. No. That is, you know, I mean... I thought I might have to lie him down. Again, that's a, that's a controversial one. I very rarely do it, but and I think we got far enough with him not yeah. to have to. But when you you lie one that's almost saves a lot of horses' lives in America, they do it a lot. Ones that are biting people, kicking people, they're either going to go to the meat house. But a lot of them, they lay them down daily, and you sit on them and rub them. And yeah. Then they're, they're most exposed in life they're ever going to get, yeah. and yet you let them off. And you rub on them and then, and then you, you lay them back down so that they start to realise that you're not... They haven't got to defend themselves. No. The kick in the bite is, is, is a defence mechanism with most. With him, it's dominance. And he just thinks because he can, he should. Yeah. He's not being no. naughty. No. He's doing exactly what nature tells him to do. Oh, that's a nice look, Tan. Yeah. Look, at his, look at the look in his eyes there. He's just like... Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'll a couple of days' time, we'll yep. have a chat, see where you are with yep. it. And um, look, you've only got to go, if you get his, yeah. the nut cracking in quick enough, you're going <laughs> to be, you're going to all get better. Well, that was pretty intense, wasn't it? You can see why we headed up there pretty quickly. We had to, didn't we? And I'll keep it, I'll keep a check on how things are going. When, when the horse is castrated, if I can just keep things okay until then, I'm pretty sure... 
you know, I will do. Um, you know, a few months' time, I think it's going to be a totally different different um, scenario. Now, what you have got to remember is, I I had been to another horse on the morning, and that was after dinner, so I was pretty much <laughs> pretty much shattered when 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 I'd done that. It's not so much the physical with horses like that. It's it's racking your brains and trying to work out what's going to help the situation. Uh, that's one of the, 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 the stressy bits of it. But I was quite pleased with the way the owner managed to, to kind of get together with a with her horse at the end. Now I have had some messages. This was only a couple of days ago. I went there and I've been hoping, I said, please message me, let me know you're getting on. And I've had a couple of messages and they're really, really positive. Uh, I've had two messages now. Uh, I had one last night. Uh, saying she couldn't believe the difference. It was totally, totally no biting, no nothing. And today I've had a message and just everyone has just got smacked. Now, I do, you know, I will wear off that horse, you know. So as long as the owner keeps getting a little bit of space and being kind but as firm as necessary, you know, I think it'll be fine. But that's nice at the moment. Things are fine. I will do an update later on, uh, you know, a few months' time. It'd be nice to do an update when the horse is actually um, gelded. That'd be a fantastic little update to do and show the difference, you know. And it, it's the idea was to keep to keep the horse entire and breed to it. And it's just what is. It's just what is. It's just life. It wasn't to be. Uh, and um, yeah. So again. Um, it'll help us, help other people, like and share if you can. You will notice I use the flag quite a lot in that um, video. It's a really great tool for certain things. Um, and I know I'm going to get a lot of messages of where do we get the flags from. Well, just message Tanya Young, Tanya, and she sends them out daily. Uh, and and they're, they're, they're ever so cheap, really. So if you do want a flag, if you can feel the need, and you want to try one, then just message Tanya. So, till the next video, we're going. There are more horses similar to this one by the sounds of it. We're going away next, oh, in two, two weeks' time it is. Uh, it's been put back slightly. Uh, we're going away for a week and we've got a whole bunch of horses to work the other side of the country. Some of them have aggressive tendencies, so there'll be some more uh, videos coming shortly as well. So that's it. Happy trials, folks. I hope you get something out of that. And if it can help a few people, then, then that's enough for me. Okay? Happy trials. Cheers. Cheers, guys.